All right, so on my quest to find the best, most powerful, I don't mean best, sub $75 amplifier, found this one on eBay. I think it was a refurbished model. I don't even remember what brand it is, but we'll find out. Good evening, friends. Dick Riculous here, reporting live for WBIGD TV. Today, we're gonna to talk about another product. We're gonna have Big D test and prove if it's true, if it's false, if it's right, if it's wrong, if the manufacturer's leading you down a path of destruction, if they're just plain out lying to you, lying to you, lying to you. You big dummy. We are here and we're gonna report it, because that's what we do. Dick Riculous here, WBIGD TV. My name is Derek and I test amplifiers to see how much power they actually put out. If you enjoy those kind of things, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Let's go on and see what we have today. So recently in the $150 SPL challenge, I was on a mission. I was trying to find an amp for under 75 bucks that put out the most amount of power. Came across this DTI MA2500D for $70 free shipping on eBay. And I was like, hold on now, 2,500 watts. Well, even if it's half that, 1,250, that will be good at one ohm. The ratings though, say it does 2,500 at one ohm, 1,250 at two ohms, or 625 at four ohms. Let's take a closer look, unbox it, and see what it's all about. All right, so on my quest to find the best, most powerful, I don't mean best, sub $75 amplifier, found this one on eBay. I think it was a refurbished model. I don't even remember what brand it is, but we'll find out. DTI. I know sometimes people be lying and not be telling the truth. I'm really doubting that this amp does 2,500 watts at one ohm at 14.4, even 2% THD. Just remember that when we test the uncertified mode, it takes us up to clipping, which clipping is full THD. It's like, bam. So any of our clipping numbers, if they reach anything like this, we'll be balling. But I don't think these are legit, because again, this thing was like 70 bucks. Let's take it out of the box and see what it looks like. It's got a warranty. So again, let's look, see if it's in the back. There we go. Let's look at ratings. See, it says max power here, not continuous at 2%. So who knows, what? 25 amp times two fuses? What, 50 amps worth of fusing? Oh, that can't be right. There's no way, no way, no way. Oh boy. Let me look at the amp and see if it actually has 25 amp fuses on it. If so, this is gonna be a horrible, horrible day. Oh man, super, super cheesy. It doesn't have fuses built in, but it feels kind of lightweight. It does come with a base knob, I think. So it does come with a cheapo plastic base knob. Let's get the amp out of the baggie here. Very, very thin aluminum four gauge power inputs. It does have two 25 amp fuses. Oh man, what a waste of money we have here, friends. It does have a variable subsonic. Inputs and outputs, gain, phase switch, bass boost, low pass, there's remote gate gain. On this end, we've got eight gauge speaker, just one. 25 amp fuses and then four gauge power input. Wonder if we should look at it before we test it. Yeah, let's look at the guts before we even test it. Before we open it up, let's check out the dimensions about 13.3 inches by 9.25 inches by about two inches thick. Now let's take the screws off the bottom, take a closer look at the internals of the amp. You big dummy. Here is the max power 2500 watt $70 eBay amp. It's obviously a Chinese board and all that. Small transformer. Looks like around a 500 watt amp, which going by the 225 amp fuses and it being a class D, we may get 500 watts if we're lucky. What a bummer. Thought I was getting at least a thousand watt amp here. Oh well, let's get it hooked up. Fire up the dyno. See how she does. 
So those who don't know what the amp dyno is, it actually measures the RMS power output of the amplifier. So let's get this DTI MA 2500D hooked up. First off, four ohms. We'll do three different tests on all the ohm loads. It's rated 625, certified takes us up to 1% THD. Yeah, 200 watts. Voltage is high too. Let's try uncertified, which takes us up to clipping. Just a little bit better. 217. Dynamic power simulates subwoofer 40 hertz burst tone. Yeah, we're still in the 200s, even with 14.7, 235 watts. Now we'll try 2 ohms, which rated 1250 watts, but we know based on the 4 ohm test, there's no way it's getting anywhere near that. Certified test is first, 340 watts at a high 14.56 volts. Uncertified up to clipping. 370 watts at 14.44. Dynamic burst at 2 ohms, 40 hertz. 429, nope, 438, jumped right there at the end, 14.64. Now we'll do the one ohm test where it's rated 2,500 watts. We know we're not getting anywhere near that. Certified takes us up to 1%. We need more gain on the amp. <laughs> Uncertified takes us up to clipping. We did get over 500 watts here. 552, 14.22. Dynamic, simulating subwoofer tones. Had a nice little dynamic power here. 776. DTI, this is how I feel. Yes, a big slap to the face because you reached in my wallet and you stole my money because you lied to me about the ratings and I'm not happy about that. Let's see the results here. You can see 200 watts at 4 ohms, 340 at 2 ohms, 487 at 1 ohm. Yeah, abysmal, horrible. You guys should be shamed of yourselves. You should give me my money back. Well, now let's do some subwoofer tests, see how it makes the sub flex. It is hot out here without the AC on, but I'm gonna let you guys slow down the bass. Let's go, DTI. Three kinds of bass. There you go guys, there's my test of the DTI MA 2500D. All I can say is the amp with this subwoofer actually sounded pretty dang good, but that just proves that if you have a good subwoofer in a good box, you don't need a ton of power. This amp was only giving the sub around 150, 200 watts and it was shaking my whole lab. So good job on the box Hi-Fi Vega. Nice job on the sub Savard. The amp, yeah, 70 bucks, you lied to me. It does okay if you're a budget-minded person, just need a little bit of power, but I still hate the lies. Stop lying. This amp is gonna go on the wall. Dick Riculous 
wall of shame for overrating you manufacturers out there you should not want to be on this wall because it's shameful thanks as always you guys for watching commenting liking my videos patreon.com slash old school stereo my new five dollar patrons thank you alan william and tim and an extra special thanks to Jay Matthew Marcus, Jesus Tire, Sound Gym Registry, and High Five Vega for making that killer box. I'm out of here. Let's see if it can handle a certified run 40 hertz at 0 .8, 8, 0 0.8 ohms. Okay, it did, did a little bit more power. All right, thus far we've not been impressed with the DTI MA2500D. So we're gonna drop the homage, homage, homage to the ohms. We're dropping it to 0.8, 40 hertz. See if it'll do it if it goes up in smoke, which I don't care at this point. Let's try it out. Nine thirty eight, fourteen point nine volts. Hmm. On our quest to get twenty five hundred watts from this DTI MA twenty five hundred D, let's try point six seven ohms dynamic burst at forty hertz. One thousand ninety watts. Okay, once again on our quest to get 2500 watts out of this DTI MA2500D, we're going to try a dynamic burst at half an ohm, 40 hertz. So we're about halfway there, 1254. Half an ohm, 14.6 volts.